Hi everybody, I hope you're all well. Um, this is a super Friday. I'm very excited for it to be finally Friday. Although, I don't know about you, my weeks just seem to go like flash to bang. Um, and they're gone when it's the weekend again already. <laughs> I'm gonna be talking about collagen. What is the big deal? You may have seen an abundance of collagen products um, appearing on the shelves of the supermarket and the drugstore over the last few years. And the focus on supporting our health, um, you know, as we grow older has really shifted, but it shifted in our favour. We are much more aware now of how we can help our bodies to continue to function as we age. And there's definitely a desire to continue to look more youthful in spite of the inevitable ageing process, which sadly comes to us all. Now, if you're confused about collagen and its role in the body, then this is for you. I'm going to be sharing why collagen is important and what happens as we age. Um, and I'm also going to offer some tips that are going to help you to continue to feel and look more youthful long into the future as well. So for those of you that don't know me, I am Kirsty Broder. I'm a retired military dentist turned stay-at-home mum. Um, I now I help and educate women to improve their general and dental health through menopause and beyond. And it really is my passion to help women to keep healthy and happy and to maintain self-confidence as we get older. I think that is so important. And so many of us, as we get older, sort of lose ourselves um, in many ways and it can be a real real struggle um, particularly as we go through perimenopause menopause and beyond so without further ado we'll talk a little bit about what is collagen um if you are watching please say hello if you're watching live you can just put live below and if you're watching on replay again just pop the word replay and um, it'd be lovely to connect with you in um after the life. So what is collagen? Well collagen is basically the main connective tissue throughout our whole body. It basically acts like a scaffolding and holds us all together. It really is a vital component of our skin, muscle and bone. Of particular importance for women, particularly of menopausal age, um, science has actually proved that oestrogen plays a vital role in supporting and maintaining our body's collagen. So, oestrogen <laughs> um, basically supports collagen through its receptors. There are oestrogen receptors throughout our skin, particularly our face and in our mouths as well. So, as we age and our oestrogen starts to decline, and so too our collagen levels start to fall and they are intimately linked. And this is basically known as hormonal aging and it occurs uniquely in women <clears throat> as a result of our programmed hormonal decline from about the late 20s onwards. And sadly, this hormonal aging continues, it continues and it causes us to be more prone to things like bone loss, um, wrinkling skin and gum recession as well. So I want to know from you, I want to hear from you, are you concerned about getting older. Drop the number one down below if you are worried about signs of aging, wrinkling skin, gum recession, hair loss, <laughs> you know, any of those above and more, because I know I am. Drop my own one in the comments below because those are things which concern me about getting older. Um, and we certainly can't prevent this process, but there are a few things which we can do which can help promote healthy collagen um, in our body. So, what can we do about it? So I've got four points I'm gonna share with you today that you can implement for yourself to help to kind of boost your body's collagen, help to stop it from unraveling quite as quickly. As I say, we can't stop the process altogether, but there's a, there's a couple of things which we can do to help ourselves. So the first one, this is really, really important, no matter kind of where you live really, but it's to protect your skin from the harmful effects of ultraviolet light. So the harmful effects of the sun. By using a really good quality sun protection factor, so SPF 15 and above, I like to use mineral products which reflect the sun and their 
good for your skin as well. Um, and if you'd like some recommendations, you can just type SPF for sun protection factor. Keep it simple, just type SPF below and I can share some recommendations of products that I use um, and I love and that are effective and gonna help protect you um, all year round, basically. Secondly, quitting smoking. We know that smoking exacerbates the kind of unraveling of collagen, it makes it worse. And it's due to a process called oxida oxidative stress. So this is a really big thing. If you want to stay looking more youthful for longer, then quitting smoking is really, really key. And I used to provide smoking cessation clinics when I was working as a dentist. Um, and I know it isn't easy, but for those clients that I coached to success, it made such a huge difference, not only on their health, but also on their wallet as well. If you want some information about quitting smoking, I can help to signpost you as well. So you can just write quit down in the comments and I'll share more with you about that, how you can access those services. Um, thirdly, eat a healthy, balanced diet. I know we bang on about it, don't we? That, you know, we've got to eat a healthy, balanced diet but it really is important and you can incorporate um, collagen rich foods into your diet it's basically a more sort of mediterranean style diet it, it is physically impossible to eat enough collagen from meat sources to support our total body's needs especially once you know everything's been digested you'd need to eat so much meat <laughs> um, you wouldn't get anywhere near it um, but, you know, we can incorporate collagen rich foods into our diet and that's going to help, you know, every little helps basically, as, as Asda would say. So if you would like a list of collagen rich foods, more, ha more than happy to share a list with you. You can just write food below and I'll send that over to you. And another thing to think about is reducing your sugar intake. High sugar levels have actually been shown to um, harden and cause collagen to fracture. So reducing sugar is really good for your collagen levels and from a dentist's perspective, it's better for your dental health too. So <laughs> it's like a double whammy. And um, the last point I'm going to share with you today um, is that you, should, you could consider supplements. You could consider supplementing with vitamin C. Vitamin C is a incredibly powerful antioxidant. Antioxidants actually antioxidant help to protect our skin and protect our cells from damage. Um, so incorporating supplements such as vitamin C and liquid collagens that are readily available um, to support the body's total uh, total need for collagen as well. So that's a couple of points. I hope that's help. That's helpful. I hope it's a useful overview of kind of what collagen is, why we need it, what happens especially as we're going through the aging process and in particular for women as we get older, um, what it does, why we need it and how you can help yourself. If you would like any more information about what you can do to support your body, I'm offering complimentary one-to-one -one consultations to help you to improve your, your general health. So you can comment health below and I'll connect with you if you'd like a complimentary consultation to help yourself. Bye for now.